What's up to whoever might be watching? My name's Justine. As I'm sure you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be listening to and reacting to Scarlord's new album, which is called Dead Rising. If you're new to my channel, I recently discovered Scarlord this past year, and I have been kind of diving a little bit more into his music. I'm excited that I'm finally not late to the party on this. So the only thing is, I saw that this album is actually 21 songs long and it's 50 minutes. So in order for this video not to be super, super long, I think I'm going to break this project up into two videos. So I'll have Dead Rising part one and then I'll do a part two video. I'm gonna do the first 11 songs on this video and then I will do the last 10 songs on another video. I'm expecting this album to be super crazy. Let's go ahead and get into it so this video is not super duper long. If you want to listen to Dead Rising with me, then just keep on watching. I thought I screenshotted it, but I can't find it, but that also could just be because I have like 6,000 photos in my phone. But Scarlord put something on his story the other day about Dead Rising, like a list of warnings and things to do before listening or while listening or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was a joke, but I was gonna insert it, but um, now I can't find it, so I must not have screenshotted it, but I thought I did. Obviously, like I said already in the intro, I am newer to Scarlord's music and stuff, so if there's any, like, references or, like, stuff to, like, older albums, I know when I've reacted to other songs, people have commented, like, oh, this was actually a tribute to this song, or he was referencing one of his last songs. Obviously, I'm not gonna get that for the most part because I haven't listened to too much of his music But I'm just going to listen to the album the way that it is presented The names of the songs are very interesting. So I'm excited to dive into it really like the cover art for this project It's super cool. Let's go ahead and just hop into the first track, which is called intro dot zero 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 I don't know if that's supposed to stand for something. Let's just go ahead and hop into the album and let's see how it goes. You guys ever hear about the one who was made in hell? Rumor has it that if you stand around the fire with four people, each representing a zero, and say his name three times, he will appear in the night. And either he'll drag you down to hell with him to be one of his slaves, or... He'll slit your fucking throat. Wanna play? Okay, that's a super cool intro into the album. I definitely feel like this album's gonna be like an experience. It reminds me of like a scary movie. It's perfect for October. My Suicide, which is next. <laughs> Die. 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 
careful with what I say because <laughs> I'm always accused of being a simp whenever I like listen to his music. The first thing that comes to my head like after listening to that is just fuck yes. Anything crazy like this, I'm totally about it. I love how he just like comes in with the first track. Like just his screaming like Everything about his style I'm obsessed with. This just makes me literally want to like scream and like just let all my fucking emotions out. I really like his line where he goes, I'll fuck my fucking life up if I want to. I'll go down with this shit. Something about that just like, I'll do whatever the fuck I want type of vibe. I love. It's probably like the little rebel in me that like loves that type of lyrics and just loves that type of shit, but... This song's really good. Next song looks like there is a music video for. It looks like there's like three music videos from the album so far, so we'll go ahead and watch those. Next song on the album is called The Walking Dead. <laughs> Okay, I love when people do like music videos or like shit like that with like fire. Oh my god, if I could like, I have a clothing brand. Oh my god! This jacket is gonna be dropping next Saturday the 6th. Quick little plug. But if I could do like some sort of like photo shoot with like fire and shit, I would totally do that because something about that like aesthetic is just so cool and satisfying and this music video like obviously it just fits the song so well it just brings a certain like element to it of just like fire and rage and everything his like mask face paint whatever i can't even tell what it is to be honest but whatever he has like on his face is super cool let's finish the video He fucking killed that song. He killed that video. He has like the perfect aesthetic for this. Like the way he just like moves in the music video. He embodies this style perfectly. Next song also has a music video to it. It is called Louder. And this one looks like he has more clothes on. <laughs>
do have a little bit of a crush on him. <laughs> Just like the way he was dancing in this music video and stuff too was like super cute, honestly. Don't make it a big deal. Please don't. I really love his style. Like, I really can appreciate that, like, gothic style that he has. His clothing brand especially, too. I really want to actually get some stuff from his clothing brand because there's some really cool stuff on there. I think it was just kind of expensive, if I remember right. But I do still want to, like, get some stuff from his clothing brand because it's super dope. This song was super dope. I loved it. It's super catchy. Like, just made me want to, like, get hyped to it. I mean, obviously, that's what, like, most of his music does. But I really like this song. This next song, I think, is called Satan's Head. It's, like, S-8-N-S -S Head. So I think that's Satan's Head. But let's just go ahead and dive into the song. <laughs> Satan's head hanging in my living room. The bitch with the horns ain't shit. Um, I definitely think the concept of the song is super badass. Um, I like that song super hard. I don't know. I just feel like nowadays, like, the devil... <laughs> it sounds so fucking terrible. Oh my god. I just feel like, honestly, nowadays, though, like, the devil doesn't have, like, the appeal that it once did. Like, now I feel like, like, all these, like, fucking TikTokers make, like, songs about, like, being the devil and shit and, like, Lil Nas, like, twerking on the devil and, like, shit like that. Like, I feel like literally the devil has, like, lost its, like, I don't know exactly how to say this, but I just feel like using the devil in songs and, like, that used to be so like taboo like you don't do it and now i just feel like it's like trendy and everyone does it um like people who shouldn't even be fucking talking about the devil be like using them using him in the songs and everything so i'm kind of just like over it like it used to be like edgy and stuff but now it's just like now just everybody fucking talks about the devil and like it used to be like something that is so crazy and now it's like fucking normalized which is just which just shows you how much this world has gone to shit Next song has a music video. It is called Can't Die. From your new neighbors at Tractor Supply. Where the fuck am I getting tractor ads? Yeah! 
can't die, can't die, can't die. Life is a lie. That, like, the way he said that literally, like, gave me, like, chills. The production on that... I'm, like, super weird with music. Like, certain things just, like, snatch me up and, like, I can get connected to a song very quickly. This, this song, like, honestly, it was just done so well. The music video very much matches the song. This was just production-wise and lyrically. I just feel like this song was just done very well. I love it. I, I think it's great. We're coming up on track seven out of the 11 we're gonna do for this video. The rest of these tracks do not have music videos, so we're just gonna go ahead and listen to them and read the lyrics. This next song is called Life is a Lie. <laughs> Keep the mask on my face, you don't know me. Keep the mask on my face, you don't know me. <laughs> I mean, I guess that explains the mask. He just, he raps so fast, he like, never fails to surprise me with how fast he spits out the words. Next song is called Coffins. <laughs> said if there was going to be references in these songs I probably wouldn't get them but this one I actually did get because I've listened to Six Feet and reacted to it on my channel. I'm just glad I got the reference because I hate like being on the outside and like not knowing stuff so <laughs> if you know you know. <laughs> this song's fucking crazy. There's a war in my head. I'm crazy. I'm sure all I see is coffins, 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 coffins. Next song we have is called How Spiteful. <laughs>
not down and depressed like you. I'm grown and pissed off. What if you're down, depressed, grown, and pissed off? Can you be all four? I do like that song. It's not one of my favorites. However, I do still like it. I think it's hard. I would say the other songs I have liked and kind of like connected to more. This one's definitely like still goes hard, but for me, the lyrics I'm not super like connected with. Next one is Death Interlude. ETH Interlude, Death Interlude. <laughs> Okay, right off the bat with this one, I could definitely tell. I can just like connect to the lyrics more on this one and it's like more of a serious tone. Ran out of your luck, I see you're stuck and can't accelerate. I don't give a fuck about who don't like me, let that resonate. I like that line. <laughs> like especially because i feel like it gets more real on it um barely love myself when i get like this i can never change can't replay no sins throw me out the game because you think i'm sick i ain't do nothing but they think that i'm twisted i like a second first i like the end hook i feel like he opens up more in this song and you can kind of feel like what he feels about himself uh, maybe what he feels about himself in the music industry like i said i really don't know too much about him he seems kind of like one of those artists that just like stays in their own lane does their own shit um maybe in certain ways he feels like an outcast in the music industry just kind of like what i'm thinking and like what i'm um kind of interpreting from the song obviously i could be interpreting it wrong i don't know i feel like songs like this especially like help you get to know the artist more um, and kind of like feel what they're feeling so I think this one was good I think it's really good last song that I'm going to listen to for today's video is anti-progress <laughs> I wasn't super crazy about the chorus 
on this one. Maybe it's just something you'd have to like get used to. Uh, I don't really know how to feel about this one. It's like not my favorite. It's not bad, but I think the chorus mainly just threw me off. So that is the first half of Dead Rising. I'm going to film and upload the second half of this album for you guys very soon so you don't have to wait too long for it. Overall, it's really good so far. I think there's only like two songs I wasn't super crazy for, but the rest of them have been really good. The production sounds really good, and I like the music videos of the ones that did have music videos. So far, it's living up to my expectation. I think I gotta like let it resonate a little bit more and then obviously come back and finish the album. So I will give you guys like my final, final thoughts at the end of the next video. But so far, I really like it. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a great project. You guys definitely have to let me know what you think of the first half, what songs are your favorites so far, and then I will see you guys on the part two of this video. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Go, go, go.